And I'm Barb. And, and we're, we're the Streeters. Welcome to the RDRV channel where we teach, share, and learn all about glass. That's right, Barb. And I want to welcome everybody back again, you know, this week. This is our fourth class, our fourth week in our Making Stained Glass Easy series. And before we go into the studio, we just want to thank everybody for watching. And, and subscribing and commenting and giving us the thumbs prefer up. prefer the thumbs up over any other finger. So are you ready to go finish up that stained glass panel? Ed? I think so. Come on, let's, let's go. go. As you know, we're using a very simple pattern with lots of straight lines. We did this because we wanted to start off with a simple pattern that you can make fast and frame easily and hang in your studio for future inspiration. We've got a brand new flux brush here. And a lot of times, if you use that flux brush with all that bushy hair on it, I prefer to leave it about a quarter of an inch above the metal. And we're gonna cut it short so that it's a little stiffy. And that doesn't pick up as much flux so you don't waste your flux. This really has turned out to be a nice little, little window. So before we get started on it, we're going to apply all of our pieces. All right. Now we're placing all the pieces of glass back onto the pattern. Make sure everything fits, everything's lined up the way you like it, so that you can go ahead and start tack soldering the pieces together. You can use your square to make sure that everything is straight, your lines are straight, your pieces are straight, and everything is going to lined up pretty so you can frame it and it will look really, really nice. So now we're going to add flux to all the small places that we want to first tack solder the window together. Once you've tack soldered the window, you can begin soldering. Once you finish the first side, turn it over and solder the back. Now is a good time to tin the outside edge and tin the outside edge all the way around. So hey, we just flipped this over and uh, so now we're gonna, we're gonna hang this, but we wanna make sure that what we're hanging it from is gonna hold it together. So I'm gonna, we're gonna bring this wire with a loop on it right down into here and the, we're gonna do the same thing uh, over here. So the first thing we're going to do is get that wire the way we want it, and we're going to put a loop in it. Okay. And we're going to bring that loop around to where it's going down in there so that we can solder that as well. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this little bit of extra.
And when I come across here, this will solder all this together. Now when this hangs, it's going to be pulling on this joint right here. Not going to pull your copper tape off. And it doesn't matter what kind of fixture or little panel that you're doing. If you need to hang it, don't hang it from the corner because the, first, the copper foil is going to come right off. You need to hang it so that the solder holds it in that joint and now we can put a little chain around there. But as soon as I finish soldering this side real quick, I'm going to show you how to put a lead rope chain around it. So we've taken a just a regular drill that I use to clean up solder joints with and everything in here that usually has a brush on it. I've inserted a piece of lead and now I'm going to I just made a lead rope frame. So we got this really cool twisted lead frame and I really love it. It makes a great little little design. So first thing we need to do is just clean this up a little bit. So what we're going to do with this uh, lead frame here, first thing we're going to do because we're working with lead and copper foil, is we're going to turn the temperature down just a little bit because we don't want to melt the lead. Okay, so we're going to bring that right there just like that. We'll bring a ton. We finished up this cute little stained glass panel with a cool frame around it. Easy to fix and Ed, that's just such a great trick you showed him today. Well, what it does, Barb, is it fills up the outside, gives it a nice look, and then your hangers, that remember we ran the wire down into this joint, so it's pulling on the whole window instead of just the lid. This thing will hang forever, just like that. It won't come apart. And that's what we want. You know, this little edge right here is perfect for boxes, too. I've seen this used on the edge of a box. Have you ever seen that, Tony? Where this is put on the edge of a box? Anyway, I have not. But anyway. Oddly enough, Barb, a, Barb's yeah, talking about boxes. Next week's class, boxes. we're going to show you all about boxes. And how one pattern can make hundreds of different kinds of boxes. And all and you do is change the lids. All you do is change the lids. And Ed's going to show you the easy way to add hinges. If you've never learned how to add a hinge, this is a great one to watch. The program coming up next week, Monday at 7 o'clock. And it's all about structural integrity.
Yes. To make that hinge work and to last for a long time, yeah. it's all about structural integrity. Okay, well we'll see you back next week. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> see you next week. Bye. Bye everybody.